This week, we're heading further south to explore the state of Georgia. But first, we're going to make some stops at a couple tourist spots. For this trip, we're doing away with the tents in the car boondocking and stepping up our game a little bit, so that way we can enjoy these attractions and have a nice place to sleep. First up, Medieval Times, something I've always wanted to experience. Our night was the red and yellow night, and he didn't really show up tonight, but Blue stepped up to the occasion. Congrats on your victory tonight. Back in the day when they completed the carving, they had a dinner for 12 on the shoulder of the middle guy, just to show you the size. And the water down below the carving is the same size as the carving on the wall, just to give you a different perspective. As we zoom up to the top of 825 feet, which is 1683 feet above sea level, you're staring at the world's largest single piece of granite. Up and over to the tower and have our thrill. After we go over the tower, you'll see the city of Atlanta sitting right on top of the rock, right over there on the lower left-hand corner. There is a fence that goes all the way around to keep all children and uh, people uh, alive. With signs that says, do not cross the fence, for obvious reasons. There's the city of Atlanta sitting right over there on the lower left-hand side. Atlanta over there, Buckhead over there. I'm now a GoPro guy. But this is not a GoPro, it's an Acaso Brave 7 LE. Random trees growing out of rock. I do wonder how this happens. After a quick three minute tram ride, we find ourselves atop this big ugly rock. It's a really interesting, unique experience and offers a pretty good view of the area around you. You can see Atlanta and Buckhead from the top of this rock. But I can't help but wonder how they managed to turn this big ugly rock with a couple big ugly dudes on it into all this. Stone Mountain, Georgia has clearly made a name for itself around the country, but many may not know is that there's a Stone Mountain, North Carolina, which is pretty much an identical big ugly rock, but an entirely different experience. It's more about the nature and taking hikes and following trails, chasing waterfalls, whereas this has become an amazing tourist trap. Luckily for me though, I love a good tourist trap. I'm just intrigued as to how they managed to stray so far away from the typical state park formula, but I'm not mad at that at all. I like that for the modest price of about $28, you can get a train ride, tram ride, movie, mini golf, and lunch, all for the price that you would normally pay for a t-shirt at one of these parks. Has anyone seen an dinosaur, like an actual 
as we pass our fellow travelers making their way to the top of the rock by foot, they leave us with a reminder that you, like me, are unremarkable. I love this guy. I love this guy. I love this guy. Do 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 do